Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how I make my lemon garlic tilapia. So first you want to start off with um, cleaning the fish and then lining a pan with the fish. You wanna also coat both sides of the fish with the olive oil as well as the bottom of the pan. So I'm starting off with my Creole seasoning. I don't measure, but I'm pretty generous. And as you can see in the back, I have all my seasonings kind of lined up where you can see the name of them. I don't have a specific brand suggestion. These are just the seasonings that I use and that I've bought over time. So grill mace is actually really good. Um, it's not salty either, which is why I'm gonna be using the garlic salt that you see from Lari's. Again, I don't measure, but I am pretty generous. Garlic powder, you can never have too much of. It's not salty, it does not even have any salt in it. Cayenne pepper for a little bit of spice. I don't like my food to be overpowered with salt though. Um, so I do want to note that this is not gonna be salty for people who are trying to watch their sodium intake. I didn't use a lot of black pepper. Again, I don't want it to overtake the fish. My go-to with anything, everything I season, whether that's chicken, fish, I always use Mrs. Dash lemon pepper. Now I'm massaging the fish, just making sure everything is evenly coated. Um, because we don't want to miss a part or eat a piece of fish that is not <laughs> seasoned. So I season both sides of the fish. Again, the fish is already coated with olive oil. Again, we're using that Grill Mates garlic and herb. No measuring, you know, you can season to your liking. Um, cayenne pepper which is gonna add some spice to it. It's not gonna make it too spicy though. It's not gonna be unbearable. And then again, we have our Mrs. Dash salt-free seasoning, which again, you can be generous on. The garlic salt and the Creole seasoning. I'm also adding more garlic powder. And again, I'm just rubbing those seasonings in, making sure everything is coated evenly. Now, this part gets a little messy. As you can see, my fingers are probably going to be covered in seasoning. Um, but again, we're just massaging, just making sure everything is evenly coated, just rubbing those things in. And then we're going to take our parsley, which again, it just adds a little color, makes it look good. To me, dry parsley doesn't even have a taste, truthfully. Um, and then I have my minced garlic that you'll see. I'm actually washing my hands because they are covered in seasoning. So if you don't want to get your hands messy, I would suggest using like a spoon or something to rub in the seasonings into the fish. So I'm gonna use um, minced garlic. This is just going to add a kick to it. I'm a garlic lover. I put garlic on everything, um, but as you can see, I'm also letting, like digging into some of the juices um, cause it's going to add liquid to the fish. Now the good part about tilapia is it produces its own liquid. So you'll see that part at the end, but again, I'm just massaging the fish. I'm just making sure everything is evenly coated and making sure they are flat on the pan so they can evenly cook. So now we're gonna add our butter. Um, I normally use salted butter, but if you want to use unsalted, you can. At this moment, I would suggest preheating your oven to 350 degrees. I let my butter sit out as I was seasoning, so it's pretty soft, but you can see how thin I've cut it. Um, and like I said, you don't have to put it on there as I'm doing it, but again, I'm only adding butter so the fish does not dry out. And so when the water does evaporate from the fish, it's not watery, okay? So I feel like the butter adds a bit of seasoning to the fish as well. At this moment, you would bake your fish 
for about 20 minutes on 350 degrees. I did not cover the pan with foil. I left it open just as you see right here. All right guys, here's my finished product. If you enjoyed this recipe and would love to see more, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment.